have Tech Insider update. So to start out with, these are some general Office 365 and cloud updates to be aware of. Um, basically, uh, if you're still using Internet Explorer 11 or older, um, Microsoft is working on finally closing that door down. August of this year, uh, you will not be able to use IE 11 or you'll have a degraded feature experience if you're on IE 11. So I've got another point in here about Edge um, that we'll talk about, but get off IE 11, all right? Um, TLS 1.0 and 1.1 are being disabled again in Microsoft 365. In short, um, they kind of pause this uh, locking down of these old um, security protocols. What this means is if you're using a, uh, a device, think old devices, Windows 7, um, that doesn't have the proper updates on it, you won't be able to access and interact with Office 365 services um, with that SSL, HTTPS, TLS um, negotiation protocol of 1.0 and 1.1. 1.2 is where you want to be. So um, just be aware that that is, that is again uh, rolling out across the Office 365 services to remove support for those old protocols. Um, the point about Edge, the legacy version of Microsoft Edge, we're not talking the new cool Edge Chromium engine, right? We're talking the old Edge, Microsoft calls it their legacy version of Edge. That is going out of support in March of this year, coming up quite soon. Uh, another really important thing to be aware of is Microsoft is rolling the uninstallation of Legacy Edge and the installation of Edge into their uh, cumulative update of Windows 10. Uh, sometimes they call that Update Tuesday updates, right? That's coming in April of this year, and it will rip off the old Legacy Edge browser and drop the new Chromium Edge version on that device. Um, my experience with Edge on the Chromium engine has been wonderful. I've heard great reports about it and uh, highly recommend you looking at Edge as your uh, new browser to replace that IE use case, okay? So a couple updates there. Another fun one here, this is always confusing to me. Um, the names of Azure AD roles are finally getting consolidated, okay? So there's this little table here. Um, the CRM service administrator was how you would see that role in some interfaces. It, it was also named the Dynamics 365 Administrator. It was really the same thing, but different places exposed the name of that role in, in different uh, uh, names. And so they're consolidating all this. So that far right-hand column is the official name that all the places of uh, Azure um, will expose the name of that role, okay? So that's good news. And if you were confused about is the CRM service administrator different than the Dynamics 365 administrator? It was just, surprise, surprise, Microsoft's wonderful naming, and they finally got together and said, let's uh, get all this matched up. So that's something cool that's coming. Um, another cool thing, just a quick little note here, if you like the, um, um, well, hold on, I got this image ahead of my, my point. Uh, the first point is the Groove Sync Client. Um, Hope, I haven't talked about the Groove C client in quite a while, but it is now no longer going to be able to talk to Microsoft's cloud, SharePoint, OneDrive for Business, et cetera. This is good news. Um, the uh, Groove client is uh, junk compared to the OneDrive client is the short version of it. So I'm glad Microsoft's shutting this down. If you still have people using Groove, um, then it will break, but please get people off Groove as quickly as you can. How do you know if you're using the Groove client? Because it looks has a similar icon. If you right click on it and you don't see a settings option, it's the Groove client. Okay, if you right click on the OneDrive icon down in the system tray, you get settings. It's the new OneDrive.exe. It's not the old Groove.exe, which they're killing and, and deprecating. Okay, uh, another fun little thing, there's dark mode in OneDrive for business. For all you dark mode lovers, uh, just go to your settings in the OneDrive interface and you've got a little slider there. I've got a screenshot for it that you can turn dark mode on, kind of fun, okay? Next is uh, universal print. Um, if you've never heard of what universal print is, then reach out to us. In short, it's a cloud-based printing solution from Microsoft that allows you to print to your computers without needing print servers or um, on-prem infrastructure. It's even compatible with legacy printers that don't support this standard universal print protocol. Um, there's a little gateway you can install on-prem that you can broker printing to your printer through. And that license to use Universal Print 
is yours free of charge, it's going to get included in the existing Microsoft 365 bundles, um, specifically around the uh, the bunch of bundles, business premium, F3, E3, E5, A3, A3, blah, 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 blah. So universal print, if you're interested in printing better um, with an out-of-the-box solution for Microsoft, um, we can help you with that. So that's getting bundled with your license.